yo. What's good? I'm actually sound like that. Hey yo. Hey yo. Sorry, let me stop. Hey y'all. Um, what's up? It's your girl Bad. If you're new to my channel, of course I just I just said it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Maddie. Maddie the Baddie. <laughs> I have Baddie right now. You know, we're a little down bad. But that's not the point. So, we're about to get into this because we're about to change our hairstyle. And I know y'all been wanting this. Before we even start, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, post notifications, all that, all that. Get into it, you know. But today, we are going to be just... Well, not we are going to be. I'm going to be showing y'all how I customize my wigs. Now, I'm not no hairstylist. I'm not no professional. I just like to do my hair. And then sometimes I do other people's hair. So, but for some reason, whenever I do my hair, people want me to, like, show how I do it and everything. So, I'm like, you know what? Let me finally do that. You know, I got my wig standing in the back. But, yeah, so today... The wig I have, this is not sponsored. I'm, I'm not even at that level yet, so I don't even think I can get a sponsor video. But I got this wig from BGM Girl Hair. Oh, Black Girl Magic Hair. <laughs> it's made in China, but hey, I, I like the name. And it just comes in a cute little box. The wig is in the bag like this. You get this little card that just says thank you, and you know the code they give you, and they're like, I usually don't do that just because I'm too lazy. Some lashes. Ooh, look at these. These aren't too bad. Like, let's be honest. The the wig companies they've been stepping up their game with the lashes because let's be honest. The the wig and the hair that we used to get maybe like three years ago, the lashes that used to come with it, honey, honey, it was bad. But you know these still aren't the best, but they're they're not that bad honestly. And then it just comes with. A wig cap but let me just tell y'all about this wig it is a bob frontal wig and guess what it didn't even cost me a hundred dollars it cost me under a hundred dollars maybe it was like i want to say like 90 something but it is a bob wig as you can see it's giving very much dora the explorer you know um brazilian hair it's 250 250 density 12 inch straight and like i said it's a frontal and and let's just get something straight here do you see this this is a full frontal like not like a 360 frontal but like the real frontal you know ever since this pandemonium crap broke out like it's just like these companies haven't been given like full frontals it'd be like the little t-zone because you know the whole the whole lace um backup distribution whatever um, it's just like this whole Papa John's really just, you know, it just really messed stuff up. So now you're either getting these T-zone lace wigs or like these half lace wigs. And it's just like, how am I going to do a side part with this? Like, it's just like, this is not what I signed up for. But yeah, so this is the wig. Um, the link of it will be in the description box, but literally under $100. Like, like you can't beat that like i'm gonna do an installation video but not in this this is just for how i customize it so yeah let's get started um first i'm gonna go bleach it so let's get into it okay so for this like you don't want a soupy consistency because then basically it's just gonna bleed all the way through and it's just gonna just over bleach but and call me ghetto if you want because i don't got a mixing bowl but I've always forget to go buy one before I have to go mix. So I'm using a plastic fork and this container that no one uses. Let's see. See how it's like kind of thick? Like it's not like real, real soupy. It's kind of like a thick consistency. That's how you kind of want it to be because if it's too thick, it's going to be really hard for it to bleach it because it's going to probably be like very powdery. But if not, then like if if it's too loose then it's probably gonna just bleed through and and bleach the hair which you really don't want but as you see i put the wig down on the stand Ugh. it's just inside out and all the hair is pulled back and i just pinned it down in the front but what i did is i just took a rat tail comb and i pushed all the hair back underneath so it wouldn't be an issue and i also used 30 developer 
because 20 20 just takes too long for me like every time i use 20 it just takes way too long 40 you gon' just don't 10 not even an option so 30 is the best but yeah i'm gonna just take this and spread it on here hopefully i mixed enough sometimes i mix enough sometimes i don't it doesn't look like i really mixed enough It's not here right now because I moved it out the room because it stunk. So I just moved it out there while I let it sit. And then I put a 20 minute timer on. Now on 14 minutes. Um, and at 20 minutes, I'm going to go check it and see how it looks. Uh, see if I should let it go sit a little longer. If so, I'll probably add like another 10 minutes. But wait, but wait. But like, you see when I was spreading it, how it was kind of like. It was like kind of like butter not a butter make peanut no maybe like jelly maybe like jam i would say jam it was kind of like jam like it was stick but it wasn't like like i don't like i don't know how to describe it like it wasn't soupy and runny but it wasn't like solid like it was just like it was like like just right like i don't i don't know how to describe it but hopefully y'all saw it so yeah but in order to do that i usually just put the powder in first and then i do like a little bit of liquid and i just add the liquid that will the developer and I just add the developer like bit by bit so I don't overdo it okay wig is washed out um I had the bleach sitting on there for about 40 minutes I meant to go check it at 30 but I started cleaning stuff up and I got distracted so this is her you can clearly see the roots are now bleached it's giving very much scalp and can y'all kind of see what I mean by like it's not oh yeah you can kind of like you can see through a little bit and that's and it's not it's not because it's thin but one it's wet right now that's like you can really see through it but I always just let my um wigs air dry because I just don't be feeling like doing the whole blow dry thing unless I'm in a rush I also forgot to add that when I washed it, I washed it with purple shampoo after I washed the bleach out. So the roots wouldn't be all orange and stuff. So just any purple shampoo that you want to use. But definitely use that purple shampoo and then I just did a little bit of conditioner to rinse just it completely. But this is really nice. Like I can't wait to see how it looks on because so far like I'm just very impressed. The hair is very soft. It was full. I don't get any like pieces of hair coming out. The lace easy to bleach. Like, come on now. It's a full frontal. Like, I mean, I think I'm in love. Okay, so we're back. I look so crazy right now. And it's because I'm taking my hair out. So it's just like but we're back before i pluck it what i like to do is just make sure like it's back and like all the f all them little flyaways are out the way so yeah i'm heating up my hot comb now and i'm just taking my little wax stick here no particular wax stick but yeah you can see like old hair on it but i really just want to like get it out the way you can kind of see right here like we're over bleach and I'm not really worried about that because honestly if it really bothers me I'll just just take like the little color thing and go over it
Oh, there we go. Like, I'm not worried about flattening and all that. I'm just worrying about getting those extra pieces out the way so we can go ahead and pluck. Okay, and so now, real quick, before I start plucking it, I'm just going to part it down the middle because I think that's where I want to have my part at. Okay, so now we have it parted down the middle. You got this side twisted up, but... I literally just start. I don't pluck the like actual hairline itself, but I kind of like pluck a little bit of the hair behind it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this front layer and just pull it up. Make sure you get all the way to the side. And then just to get this out the way. And then just keep plucking in this back area. Because this is the part that really needs to be thinned out. real simple real natural this is the part that's probably going to be when well, I'm probably gonna be this is gonna be the um baby heads right here and if you see this is kind of the focus point let me give you an example so now if you look from the front you can kind of see how it goes like this so you see how it goes like this which is really my main goal because the baby hair is going to be here so you really want to focus on plucking here and making sure you're not plucking that middle part and then just plucking like this little side action right here so i probably will end up plucking a little bit more but like you basically you get the gist and that's how the other side is going to look so like look this side right now first like, I feel like you can clearly see. You can see the difference. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's basically just how I customize my wigs. It's pretty easy. Um, and I'll probably put all the stuff in the description. So, yeah. Um, you know, your girl's going to come out looking pretty good once we get both sides done. You'll, you'll see the end result in another video. And then you can kind of see, like, there's the gap here. This is the gap. This is what this is this is what we've been planning. But yeah, basically, so just get you some nice 30 developer. You want it to be like a paste, not too thick though. Type of that's consistency. Lay that on there for about 30 minutes. Check on it about 30 minutes. 40 minutes. That's how long I left mine on. But you can see it kind of overreaches a little bit. But don't worry, I'm gonna fix that. Um and then, as you see, I love the air dry. Make sure you put your heat protectant on it. And then, I like, personally, I like to, like, comb my back with the wax stick and the hot comb. Just so it's out my way rather than doing all the loose and everything. I don't know. It's just, I, it's, it's just the method I prefer out of every method I've tried. Um, and just get to plucking. Part it. Make sure you part it. Make sure you part it. So you know exactly how you want your hairline to be so you don't so it's like completely even and symmetrical on both sides and just get the plucking get the plucking 
So I hope you guys enjoyed my video and stay tuned for more.